know that you're a traitor. We know that you can identify the Prussian spies who organized the Oro Grande gold raids. I'm not a traitor. I'm a Prussian, an enemy if you wish. What is your real name then? If I told you what you want me to tell you, then I'd really be a traitor. Come in. The troops assembled, sir. Good. Tell the sergeant to start on. I'll catch up. Yes, sir. Sorry, I can't leave men to help you guard him. Don't worry, Colonel. He'll be right where he is now when you get back. Any further news, Dan? Fort Loma agrees you'd better see about this Indian trouble immediately. That's what I'm going to do right now. That's all we need now, Indian trouble. Who stirred up the Moodoffs anyway? I don't know, but it sure came sudden at Idaho. Say, where are you being? Chasing bull bats? Always do on nights like this. Well, you'd better start chasing after Steve Clark. Steve? What's up? The raiders are holding Kathy a prisoner out near Rimrock. Run him riding double. Well, what are you going to do about it? Get myself a horse. Just like that, huh? But you and Kathy keep going. If I'm lucky, I'll be an Ora Grande ahead of you. Sign up. I wonder what made him so speedy all at once. How should I know? Where's Harmon? Harmon's always tired, even if his horse ain't. He'll be along. Bart, you and I are going to report to Morell. Row hide, ride to Brush Canyon and wait there. All right. Yeah, no telling what'll happen now.
I've never been so happy to see anybody in all my life. Well, where's Kathy in Idaho? They'll be along. What happened, Steve? Well, it's a story with a happy ending, thanks to Idaho. Is Morel in? Yes, but he's busy. Well, he's going to be a lot busier. So nothing like what you've just been telling me has happened here, Steve. Of course, this Modoc uprising sort of complicates things. I'll say it does. I'm glad Sewell's here to handle it. Yeah, but he had to take all these men with him. Who's guarding Bill? Abbott, yeah, deputy sheriff. Good man. All right, Braddock. There's no use talking about it. You failed to stop Clark's rescue of the girl. There's more to it than that, Alex. What are we going to do about Bill now that we cannot exchange Miss Haynes for him? But at least Bill won't starve. I've had some food sent to him. Go to Bill's room. Bring all the papers here you'll find there. How about it, Doc? Do you think we can make that stubborn Prussian talk? We can try. Regrettable about Bill, but it was the only way to make sure that he wouldn't weaken at all. Can they trace back on that food? <laughs> They'll try, but get nowhere. They won't even learn that Bill's real name is Hans Plattner. Abbott is taking the body out the back way. Maybe if we could find out who arranged that tray for him. Well, Abbott will attend to that. I took these keys off Bill. Thought you might like to examine his room. That's the best idea you've had for a long time, Doc. Which one is it, Kathy? I'll show you. It's next to Dan's telegraph. Tomorrow. Here's something. Bill wrote this in German. And he signed it Hans Plattner. See if he's on the copy of that list of Prussian agents you brought back from San Francisco. Here it is. Hans Plattner, 6X3. 6X3? That means one of the coins is his. Probably the one you found on him. 9M6. Well, this is the coin we got from Bill, but it isn't his number. Who does it belong to? Friedrich Lentz. Nobody by that name around here. He's here, all right, under some other name. That won't help us, seeing as we don't know it. The only one of them coins we ain't checked yet is the one that was found on Kathy's father. 6X3. Hans Plattner. Well, I guess that closes your case for Wells Fargo, Idaho. Guess it does, Steve. Bill was the man that Kathy's dad was wise to. But that doesn't close the case. Bill murdered dad, but he was obeying orders. And they came from the men you're looking for now. You got something there, Kathy. I'm still official. And right now, I'm giving this closet another look-see. Wonder what this mattress is doing in here. An extra, probably. No place else to store it. We're going to take it out and cut it up anyway. People sometimes hide things in mattresses. Look out, Kathy. was maybe the best thing I ever did. No wonder the spy ring knows everything we do. They had Bill here to eavesdrop and had the telegraph line tapped. Yeah, but you and Colonel Sewell send your messages in code. Ah, uh, experts can break down a code sooner or later. I'll bet these wires cross under the street to the alley. Well, if the wires go underground beneath this floor, hadn't you better find out which way they turn? I ain't digging them up now. I'm playing a hunch that those wires lead direct to the Golden Eagle. 
Didn't you say that that Wells Fargo detective is following the telegraph line? Well, sure, but what's that got to do with it? The line comes here. Now, get the Raiders. Hold up this place. Make it look real. And take the valise that Hank will have. Lock the door. sacrifice listening to that transcontinental telegraph, but no one can follow the wire here now. You're sending the vital records to the hideout, is that it? Maybe it appears that the Raiders robbed me exactly as they have others. That's it, my dear, and Clark can prove nothing. More to the point, Alex. He cannot prevent us from getting the stolen gold to Prussia. But now there is not enough to pay for Alaska, is there? Enough for a down payment, Friedrich, yes. Yes. Yeah. Prussia will promise to pay the balance later. Believe it or not, boys, we're robbing the Golden Eagle, starting now. Golden Eagle? That's right. What's the big idea? It's the boss's orders. Any luck? Finally located a broken end of the wire under a building. There wasn't any other end. Where was the wire going? Either into the Golden Eagle or under it, to some place beyond. I think it's about time we paid another visit to the Golden Eagle. Find out something? No, but you played your hunch. Let me play mine. Fair enough. Now, do you understand, Hank? And the hold-up starts on two worse. Visitors. Uh-oh. This is the showdown. That Wells Fargo detective is covering Captain Clark. Why, Captain Clark, what brings you here? And at night, too. I just dropped in to see how you enjoyed your trip to San Francisco. I don't like your manner, Clark. As for you, Morrell, I wonder if you happen to have one of those 1752 coins on you. Hold it. Get your hands on the table where I can see them. Turn your pockets inside out. We'll do the holding up around here. Get that police off the bar. 